Good morning and welcome to Coffee Talk. Um, what are we on? Day three of massive sinus head thing. But I got medicine yesterday. So I'm hoping to be good as new for Charlie's birthday and Thanksgiving. Um, <clears throat> I want to tell you guys a story. I'm going to type it out later because some people are visual learners. They like to read it. But um, I really want to tell it. So on Sunday, Michael and I were flying home from Texas and we flew from San Antonio to Dallas and then from Dallas to Birmingham. So when we, where were we when we got the food? Okay, San Antonio. So while we were in San Antonio, um, we had like an hour, two hours before our flight or an hour and a half or something. So we went to get food and we went to this place in the airport that made like flatbread pizzas and paninis and wraps, right? So first Michael and I order the chicken artichoke wrap or flatbread. And they're like, oh, we don't have artichoke. So Michael's like, all right, I'll just get a pepperoni flatbread. And I'm like, okay, well I'll have the veggie panini. And I'm like, there's no cheese on that, right? She's like, no, it doesn't even come with cheese. I'm like, okay, great. So they call his, you know, his number, he gets his food. And then five minutes later, they call my number. I go up and get it. I bring the panini back to the table and there's cheese on it. I'm like, oh, and now I can't eat cheese. So I'm like, okay. So I go back up to the counter and I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. There's cheese on this. And the woman was like, I don't even know how that happened. It doesn't even come with cheese. I'm like, not a problem. Can I just get a new one? And she goes, would you believe we don't have any more? So now this is like the second thing that I ordered that, I, and I go, ah, oh, you guys are killing me. I go, you know what? It's not that big of a deal. You could just give me a refund. I'm not that hungry. And, um, there was a woman behind the counter and there were people like <clears throat> online and, uh, she was like, um, no, I, I really want to make it right. And I was like, nah, it's fine. I'm good. I don't, whatever. And she was like, no, let me <clears throat> figure out how to make it right. And I could see how tense the energy was amongst the people. And I realized that right now in this country, with all the videos going around of people yelling hurtful things and saying hurtful things about our differences and whatever, this woman, okay, was, I think, I don't know that scared was the right word, but maybe concerned that it would escalate, that this would become something else. And I realized that I had a choice. I could, cause she was, she was black. I was white. The other woman behind the other woman with her behind the counter was another ethnicity. And the people standing online were white, black, you know, Spanish, everybody was different. And I think nobody knew how it was going to go. So I said to her, I promise you, it's not that serious. So she was like, can you come down to the end of the counter? So I'm like, sure. So I walked down. She's like, I really want to make it right. I'm really sorry that, you know, and I said to her, I promise I'm not even that hungry. She was like, let me just make you something. So she went out of her way because all the food there was pre prepared. They don't make anything per order. It's all pre prepared. She went out of her way to get everything from the back and start making me a wrap that didn't have cheese or sauce or anything. Gotta love a dairy allergy. Anyway, she finally, I, 20 minutes after this all started, I finally get food. I thank her, I take it to my table and I start eating and it's weighing on me. What's weighing on me is the feeling that this woman had that perhaps the situation would get out of control, that perhaps I would become irate or whatever. I could feel the energy. And after I was done eating, I said to Michael, I'd really like to go say thank you to that woman again. He was like, didn't you already say thank you? I'm like, yeah, but I want to say thank you. So I go back to the counter and she's behind the counter. I go, hey, can I talk to you? Will you come out the door? She's like, sure. So she walks to the door and comes out of the restaurant into the airport and I just throw my arms around her 
and she wraps her arms around me and sinks her whole body into me. And I say to her, thank you for going out of your way for me, for making sure I had something to eat. And she was like, thank you for handling it the way you handled it. And like, I could hear her voice and it just, I, I could hear her voice break. And I knew, like, I, I just knew that it was a long day for her. And she was like, God bless you. I said, God bless you too. And she was like, have a happy Thanksgiving. I said, you too. And then we looked at each other and laughed because we both had tears in our eyes. And then we hugged again. And, um, and then, you know, I went back to Michael and she went back into the restaurant. He was like, you are such a dork. And I said to him, it is those moments as women where we can allow to really give another woman an opportunity to exhale. Even though nothing was going to happen, sometimes when we perceive that something is going to happen, it is scarier to us. Giving a woman the opportunity to exhale is such an amazing thing to be able to extend to someone else. The human connection we take it for granted how special it is to be able to give another human being a moment of reprieve. In, a, in our days that are so charged and busy and exhausting and the holidays are coming and there's lots of travelers and there's lots of family and there's lots of disagreements and preparation and sickness and whatever, you know, we all have going on in our lives to take an extra moment to say to someone, I see you. I see your contribution. I see how hard you're trying and I love you for it. And thank you for it. It is, there are so many ways to show gratitude. <clears throat> so often we think saying thank you is the only way, but have you ever just put your arms around somebody that matters to you and just let them stay there for a second. Most people are uncomfortable with the hugs at first, but if you just hold on to them long enough, they will eventually sink into it. Think about the people you encounter during your day, your day to day that maybe you haven't told them how special they are, how much they mean to you. Like your barista, your coffee place, or your dry cleaner, or your postman, or whatever. Write on a post-it, I see you, you matter. I'm so glad you're part of our experience and give it to them. These things matter. The human connection matters. <coughs> Apparently breathing out of your nostrils does not matter. Um, okay. I love you guys so much today. Have a great day.